Hi everyone, it's Michelle Barada, and today I have a really fun DIY for Mother's Day. Look at that. Look how cute this is. All it is is a mason jar, and we're going to put a photo inside so it looks like it's part of the jar. And then we take a beautiful knob that we find, and then we add it on here, and you have a beautiful container for mom. Actually, it could be for anybody, but this is especially for mom since it's almost Mother's Day. So you guys ready to get started? Well, let's go. What you'll need for this project is a mason jar, sandpaper, different acrylic paints that you would like to paint your jar with, painters or drafting tape, a hammer, a large nail or screw, contact paper, scissors, a pen, a beautiful knob, and a photo. Now I've taken a photo and then I printed it and reduced it in black and white and so it's a cup about two inches by two inches, roughly around there. Next you're going to take some contact paper, you're going to take your photo and you're going to trace that on the contact paper. After you've traced that, you're going to take that off and you're going to go in just slightly and make another square uh, inside the other square. And the reason is is because you, when you put the photo inside your glass jar, you want it to be larger than the opening. Then you're going to take a nail or a screw and you're going to hammer the center of the lid of your mason jar. Then you're going to decide where you want your photo to be. Then take your contact paper and attach it to the jar. Next, you're going to take some paint, and I picked kind of like a pale blue, and oops, almost forgot to take the lid off. And you're going to cover the entire jar. And after you cover the entire jar, you're then going to let that dry, and it takes about an hour. Then you're going to do the same thing with the lid, and I'm, I chose to put a yellow on the lid. After it's dry, you're going to put another coat of paint on top. Now I chose kind of an a off-white paint to put on top, and there's a reason why I'm doing this. You'll see in a second. And then I did the same thing on the lid. Now you want to take the contact paper off, and you may need to use like a little knife or something to kind of lift the corner up. Then you're going to take your sandpaper and you're going to sand it. And as you see, I'm sanding over the, the top of it and I'm making it distressed and some of the blue is going to show through. Now take your photo and you're going to flip it over, take some of your tape and put tape at the top and the bottom so the sticky side is facing down. Then take your photo and slip it inside the jar where the opening is. And if your hand is too big, you can take like, um, like a, a back of a spoon or something to adhere the tape to the back of the opening. Look how cute that is. Now you're going to take your knob and you're going to take the washer and the, the bolt off of the back then you may need to make the opening of where you put your hole on the top of the mason jar a little larger. I use some pliers. And then one thing I didn't show you was to glue the two parts of the lid together. And you can use like an E6000 glue or even a hot glue. And see what I did was I put the top, the knob through, and then the washer and the bolt I tightened at the bottom and now I can put the lid on top of the jar that is so cute look how cute that is how much do you love that and look there's another choice of a knob that I was going to use now you're going to put a clear coat and I use a Mod Podge luster you could do a spray but if you do the spray you have to do that before you take the contact paper square off and before the knob is on. I hope you guys love today's DIY. I think it turned out fabulous. I think that your mom is gonna love this. 
Look how beautiful this is. She can put anything in it. You know what I was thinking? There's another DIY that I've done, which was super popular for Mother's Day last year, and I'm gonna put a link at the end. And what you could do is you can combine this DIY with that one. I think it's a good idea. So I hope you guys loved today's DIY. Be sure to comment, let me know what you thought. Give me a thumbs up, and until next time, bye. And to watch the next Mother's Day video, just simply click on the video you see on your screen now, and be sure to click the subscribe button for new videos. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day.